This AI and video is brought to you by SATCOM Direct. Two new business jets recently entered service. They're both here in Las Vegas for the 2019 NBA show. We're going to be showing you the Cessna Citation Longitude. Plus, we're taking a look at what's new in the cockpit to help pilots fly safely. And we've got news from the hottest sector in aviation right now. Two Evatol aircraft pioneers tell us about their plans. This is Textron Cessna Citation Longitude, which entered service earlier this month. It's been quite a journey to complete FAA certification, but visitors can now see for themselves how much the aircraft offers for its $26.9 million price tag. For us, we see it as our first truly intercontinental airplane. So ideally suited to serve the uh, transatlantic routes, also west coast of the United States to Hawaii or across the United States. So it really fits that longer range mission for us. And the Citation Longitude is really, for us, the perfect combination in the super midsize class of performance, cabin comfort, ease of operation, and economical operation. So it's really not one, any one thing that makes the Citation Longitude stand out. It's everything that comes together to, to make what we think is the new standard in the class. So as good as the Citation Longitude is, we think the interior is where this aircraft really shines. So it starts with the flat floor, six foot high cabin, it provides a nice profile for passengers, but the best in the class leg room of 30 inches between the seats provides a comfortable environment for passengers. We think the large windows provide a lot of natural light and also good viewing angles for customers who are in the seats. But a couple of the things about this cabin that you can't really see, but really make it stand out are the low cabin pressure altitude of 5,950 feet. So having spent a lot of time in this airplane, I can tell you that alone makes you feel more refreshed and more energetic when you arrive at your destination. But really what shines about this airplane is the the stunningly quiet noise levels in this airplane. When you fly in this airplane, it's one of the quietest airplanes in business aviation, not even in its class. And it's up to three times quieter than some of its competition. So we're really pleased with the entire package that is provided by this. And we think our interiors and engineering teams have hit a home run with the cabin experience. It's six foot high cabin can seat, well, eight or nine people generally speaking, but you can actually get 12 in there. The aircraft is powered by a pair of Honeywell HTF 7700 engines, and it can cruise at speeds of up to 483 knots. Fractional ownership group NetJets has 175 longitudes on order, and it's due to start receiving the first of these before the end of 2019. Textron also has its new Denali turboprop single on show here in Las Vegas, and it will be powered by GE Aviation's new Catalyst engine. We took a close-up look at two new head-up displays. Talus is demonstrating its Topmax head-up display. Pilots wear this on their heads, and the company says it gives them an improved field of vision compared with cockpit-mounted displays. It's also easier to install and lower cost. The display determines its location and where the pilot is looking by sensing reflective stickers mounted above the pilot. Collins Aerospace also has a head-up display on show, and this includes combined vision, enhanced vision, and synthetic vision. It's using virtual reality goggles to train pilots so that they're fully familiar with these important features. Meanwhile, Honeywell has unveiled a new version of its interview weather radar. The RDR 7000 will now be available to replace older radars on business aircraft already in service that can take a 12-inch antenna. According to Honeywell, Interview is the only radar that gives pilots a full-up vertical view, scanning the entire volume of air from zero to 60,000 feet. Its 3D volumetric scanning analyzes storm clouds with 17 different views, and it can also detect hazardous weather such as hail and lightning. Bell and XDI aircraft both have electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft in the works and they believe that these are going to help launch the emerging urban air mobility market. We heard the latest on both Bell's Nexus and XDI's TriFan 600 programs. A traditional helicopter can perform the mission of urban air mobility today. The issue are really two main, two main things that are um, inhibiting it from, being, from taking off and going to scale. One is the price point, the operating cost. Of a, of a helicopter. Traditional helicopters are traditionally designed to do a very broad range of missions, 
and, and probably one of the things we're talking about is, is specifically optimizing a vehicle for a very specific urban mission um, so that you can make it very, very efficient doing that one mission. The second stage is noise, right? A lot of our um, current projects, by the time you have turbines and you have big rotors, they're very efficient from a big rotor standpoint, but they also can have noise, especially at low altitude, which is where most urban mobility um, scenarios are going to happen. And so those are really the two um, big pieces that we're trying to solve, or some of the parts of the equation we're trying to uh, minimize, because we believe as price point goes down, scale goes up. We're in deep into the preliminary design, and uh, in some areas we're finished with preliminary design into critical design. We have flown a two-thirds scale unmanned prototype, although the full scale will be a piloted aircraft. And uh, so we're just marching along the development timeline that we originally laid out. Mm -hmm. Much of our effort is paced by funding, and uh, we've been fortunate thus far to be able to be very efficient with the funding that we have, and we are pretty confident that we have our uh, the investors we need to move forward with the full-scale, full-blown development to certify in 2023. By its name, uh, it's self-descriptive, it's tri-fan, so it has three ducted fans, one in each wing, and one in the rear fuselage. And those are uh, lift, allow the airplane to lift up like a helicopter, and then transition, the wing fans turn forward like a normal airplane's uh, propellers would look, and fly the airplane forward flight fast and far. The rear fan, in that case, when you're flying horizontal, is covered over and shut off. So it's uh, high speed, up to 300 knots, 29,000 feet, 670 nautical miles. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.